Hey guys, today you're gonna join us for an apéro dinatoire. If you're saying, hey, what is it? Check the video on Tuesday where I describe different types of meals in France that you can have with family and friends and dates. But you're gonna come with us to France and you're gonna sit at our dinner table with some of my friends and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Ça y est, le feu de bouillon, les olives. C'est vrai, la tapenade d'Alexandra par exemple. Typique, mais super bon. So, these really good friends, Christophe and Alex, they're awesome. She always makes all this stuff from scratch. She's absolutely amazing, whether she's making different quiches or taboulé, like a tabouli. Sometimes it's outside if it's um, nice out, especially in the summer. You invite your friends over for apéro dinatoire. Everybody brings something kind of like a potluck, but different. And what you're going to notice is as we're eating, we're just kind of talking and eating different types of different appetizers. So that's what an apéro dinatoire is. Don't mind the kids, they're being a little crazy. That's usually how it is too, because the kids won't necessarily, when it's apéro dinatoire, it's kind of informal. It's not like a formal. Tapenade is a classic, very classic from the south of France. Um, like something like a dip that you that's all based out of olives now you could have olives that you that green olives you could have um, uh, black olives but um you know like the Kalamata olives usually with some garlic sometimes some other spices and olive oil and you usually just dip your bread in it or you put it like over toast it is so delicious and Alex makes the best Alex tu es sûr ces tapenades vraiment ça déchire <laughs> So that is what an apéro dinatoire looks like and we're just kind of sharing different foods and so forth. We do this pretty frequently with our friends in France. You know, we've done um, different meals with like our friends Adrien and Nathalie, um, with um, Hugo and Céline. We have different groups of friends actually where we just all know that we're going to have apéro dinatoire. We're going to go to their house and actually enjoy sitting down at dinner. Everybody's bringing their dish, they're talking about it. And especially in the south of France where I'm, you know, born and raised and where I lived most of my life. Uh, what is awesome is that there's so many specialties from our region. So if you look at a map and you see like the Languedoc Roussillon, that is the region, and Gare and Hero, the two little regions in there. I don't know how you'd say them, departements, departments, I guess, <laughs> in English. But um, there's really specialties. And so for Apéro de Natoire, things that would be part of that, maybe the tapenade that you're noticing, it may be a tabouli, it may be a quiche, it could be a brandade, uh, like a, a fish soup. Um, it could be uh, other kinds of specialties that are specific from the south of France or, you know, just French in general. Uh, and then, of course, you know, there's going to be some cheese. Usually we end with cheese. But um, drink-wise, things that would be kind of apéro dinatoire style would be obviously different types of wine. Um, in the summer, we kind of favor rosé, rosé and white wine and then, you know, red in, in the winter time. And then uh, pastis, pastis is known in the south of France. It's something that we always tend to have. Um, and it's just awesome. It's just it's such a great moment to be able to be with friends. I'd love to know some of the things from where you are from that you like to do when you're having dinner with some friends 
What does that look like? Tell me in the comments the types of dinner that you have and tell me what other things you'd like to see in Life of France every day. Also, really quickly, some of you have commented on my purple hair. It's just a wash, but um, I don't do anything on fashion or beauty, anything like that. But if you are interested in buying it, I'm linking it below because some of you have asked me like, hey, where do you get your purple hair? It's literally just a wash that I put on my hair and you can have the color. So I'm linking where you can purchase it below for those who are interested. But I'd love to know how you do dinners with your friends and what you'd like to see of life in France. Comment below. Please don't forget to like, um, subscribe, share, all that. Merci. Vous êtes les meilleurs.